Hey everyone, it's Suzanne Kohlberg. And what I wanted to talk today about is what you can do when you can't be bothered. <laughs> I try and mind my language. We in Sydney are in our, I think this is the start of our 10th week of lockdown. It is that long, I can't remember. And what I find at the moment online is so much arguing about when the lockdown really started, is it a lockdown or is it a mockdown? Uh, all that aside, as somebody who is living in it right now, there's two things I can say. One, I never thought I'd count down the three weeks to school holidays to be excited about it, like how the world has changed, because at least then I don't need to homeschool. And two, I don't know what day of the week it is anymore. And I was like, yay, Friday, because at least tomorrow I don't need to homeschool. But what I want to talk about today is that what is not being said is it is a very stressful time right now, jokes aside, and a lot of us are having struggles that we haven't had before. And, you know, instead of engaging in arguments online about how long this is going to last and what should and shouldn't have been done, what can we do when we can't be bothered? And I think right now, what really doesn't matter is our appearance. What does matter is doing things that make us feel good. Movement, you know, like exercise. We could go and shred. Like if I hear one more person talk about shred right now, I swear. Lucky we are socially distanced or I would throttle them. Moving in a way that makes you feel good. So for those of you who've been following me, I've started doing yoga again. I don't know if you can hear that. It's my children tobogganing down the stairs. <laughs> but, you know, moving in ways that feel good for you. Um, what else can you do when you can't be bothered? taking that five minutes extra in the shower so you have that time alone taking more frequent baths and just breathing finding a hiding spot and just having that few moments totally to yourself acknowledging that you're having a hard time right now and giving yourself some grace and some compassion because so often in you know people are saying that they're having a struggle and it's being downplayed by oh it's not that bad or you know all this sort of stuff really acknowledge what's going in on for you and that your emotions are valid and you know getting up on yourself about what you've eaten or how much chocolate or wine or whatever you've consumed is not actually helpful what you could say instead is what would be helpful how can i have these pockets of space how can i be kind to myself is this actually helping the chocolate, the wine, the bread or whatever? Not to beat yourself up, not to say that you should shred or eat clean, but what would be helpful? Is there somebody you could reach out to to have an honest conversation? Somebody who's not going to fix it. Somebody who's not going to tell you what you should do and add to the pile of guilt, but somebody who will just listen and just hear like, you know, yeah, this is shit, but it's not going to be this way forever. So I just want to acknowledge that for many of us, there is this general consensus feeling of I just can't be bothered and that is okay but there's little things that you can do getting some fresh air making a cup of tea perhaps doing some stretches venting at somebody with their permission and express approval um finding that little moment where you can escape what am I doing right now escaping from my kids on that I've got to run we've got homeschooling back to it but hope that's been helpful any comments any suggestions any other things you can think of what can you do when you can't be bothered, please share them in the comments. I'd love to hear. Maybe we can get a discussion going and give some hope and suggestions and ideas to others. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.